I'm here at Pitcon 2014 and I'm uh, at the Joel booth to meet Chip Cody. So, hi there, Chip. Hi, it's nice, nice to meet you. you. I'm just um, really excited. I wonder if you tell us a little bit about the product you're showcasing here, please. Certainly. This is the Accutop GCV 4G. It's a third generation GC time of flight mass spectrometer that Joel's made. And in making this new system, they've made substantial improvements to performance. It's, it's much faster, uh, more sensitive, and more accurate than the previous models. And it has a couple of nice features. Uh, one is, is the fact that it's, it's compatible with GCGC -GC by using the Zoex GCGC -GC system. Okay. And the other is that it has a combination EIFI source, which is unique to Joel. Oh, OK. So FI, I mean, that's not something we, we hear a lot about now. I wonder if you sort right. of explain a little well, bit Well, field ionization is uh, it's a really interesting technique. It's an older ionization source, but it was used uh, primarily with magnetic sector instruments in the past. And the problem is that the FI emitters are fragile. They're little carbon whiskers grown on a wire, and okay. they're usually held at several thousand volts above the, uh, the ion source. Well, the magnetic source is used to be run at high voltage, and so you'd have high voltage on top of an even higher voltage and you had to be very careful because the little emitters would break. Okay. But the nice property about it is that it gives you only molecular ions. And so right. with the new system, uh, we're operating at much lower voltages, so the arcing is no longer a problem. And the combination EIF ice source really makes it convenient because now you can do uh, conventional EI with high resolution, high sensitivity, and library searchable spectra. Mm. But you can then just pull the probe out, shove in the emitter probe for the FI, and switch right over to do FI. So you have library searchable data with exact masses and high resolution. Then you have a complementary data set with molecular weight only information with also exact masses and okay. uh, elemental compositions. Excellent. So is it easy for the user to switch between the EI oh, and FI mode? Just, you just pull the probe out, insert the other probe, and load the parameters. It really just in a matter of minutes. It's really quite quick. Excellent. Uh, so I suppose the final question is, I mean, you, you mentioned earlier GCGC. Yes. That's, uh, yeah, GCGC is a, it's a, it's a, a powerful separation technique. Uh, we partner with Zoex, which is the company that makes the ther uh, thermal modulators for GCGC. But essentially in GCGC, you have two different kinds of GC columns. Uh, typically one separates according to boiling point and the other separates according to polarity. Okay. So you can separate things that couldn't possibly be separated by one uh, sort of column. But while you can see that the, the uh, compounds separate out by functional groups and by classes of families, and so it's it's an extraordinary separation ability. But uh, it hasn't been combined with exact mass, high resolution mass spectrometry until now, uh, at least not in a, in a practical sense. And so now we finally have a system that's fast enough and accurate enough to be able to add that extra dimension of information to the powerful separation capabilities of GCGC. Excellent. Well, it's really interesting to hear about. And, uh, yeah, it's uh, definitely a fascinating product, so uh, I wish you all best for the future. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you, Chip. Enjoy. Thank you.